Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to episode 11 of Pokemon Ultra Sun here on the Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts to Nintendo for providing me both a copy of this game and Ultra Moon as well to share with you guys. And uh, we finished the Grand Trial. That was Olivia's Grand Trial last episode. So we're going to soar into the sky with Charizard here as we have to head over to... Uh, let me see. We have to go over to this area. Uh, to the Hano Grand Resort. So the closest area we can go to would be one of these here, uh, Royal Avenue. So let's fly there, guys. Make sure you blast the like button for the episode. Comment below, subscribe, share the video with a friend. And we're back to Royal Avenue. It's nice to be here. All right, where can we head? Probably south over here, I'm assuming. Go on to our Tauros. Let's charge. All right, this should be opened up now. All right, cool. Heading to the Grand Resort. Very exciting. Very luxurious place. So you've come at last. Ah, uh, but forgive me. I have to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that someplace, or that wondrous place, is the Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial land made entirely by human technology for protecting the Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I'll prove to you that I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? It's time for a tour. Um, no! I'm going to say no. Hmm, yes. Well, children are, oft are often too frivolous and aimless to properly think through. Um, I mean, they value their freedom, so... But the answer that I want to hear from you is a resounding yes! Now let's hear it. I guess I should have said yes. <laughs> go figure. If I would say no, we'd go through all this whole thing again. That's alright. They don't like the word no. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too, says Al. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not I've gotten not I've got any I have never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is Pokemon besides you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You can see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah. Then let's meet up with Mali Garden. Yep, it's a goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. <clears throat> So this Aether Paradise is in Ula Ula Island. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Eddie? Hmm, really? No, I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Is it really paradise? Guess we'll find out soon. <clears throat> Making our trek to Aether Paradise. Pretty exciting. Pokemon Ultras on Aether Paradise. Here we are. They're going to welcome us, I guess? We'll see. A big welcoming party, maybe? Nah. We're not that special. Nice dock. Little port here. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Looks very, like, 
clean and white and research or something. Oh, that's an elevator. Where are all the crates of? Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conser conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. But you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Well, that sucks. So we can't catch any Pokemon in here. <clears throat> Who's this? Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Chief Faba. Now I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts in Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the President as well. We get to meet the president of Aether Paradise? Pew! Welcome to Aether Paradise, Eddie and Howe. My name is Wiki. Alola! Wait, you know who we are? How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And, of course, I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there, too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. I gotta admit, this is a pretty cool elevator. There's no side railings, though. Hey, here's a button. Oh, there they are. I was gonna say. It's not very safe. So I guess it's used to move really heavy Pokemon up, doesn't it? It's huge. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. A dew spider was there. <laughs> Eddie, you and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose. You must be around 11, yeah? How did you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. So for now, I'll just enjoy my island challenge. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own crossing or choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Eddie, how? Would you like to see the conservation area upstairs? Sure. Here's the button. Let's push it. How many floors are there here? This is a pretty big facility. <clears throat> wow, look at this. It's like we're outside here. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly prohibited or forbidden within the conservation area. What if we try to use them? Wow! We keep Pokemon that have been uh, targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called the Marine. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my old Pokedex. I traveled through Kanto before when I was younger, you see. Corsola. In Alola, where the natural enemies, Marini, are plentiful, many Corsola have stubby branches on their heads. Yeah, my gramps is always saving or saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? She nodded yes. Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how we humans should try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why do you both why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet the president, Losamine, uh, she would be here in the conversation area now. Conver con... <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even talk today. The conservation area is huge. How are we supposed to blah blah blah? Alright. 
All right, Rado Lodo time. Rado Lodo. Lodo. Anything worthwhile? Roto boosts. Okay. Look at like, these Z crystals here on the uh, Aether Foundation. is pretty cool. <clears throat> That's neat. Guess we could look around if we wanted to, but uh, let's see what we have to do here. She's in the conservation area now, which is where. Sudowoto is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself, but wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see in Alola? Or would that make it seem like an executor? Hmm. So we can't go that way. Okay. This is like a maze. Starmie is staring at you. Wave goodbye. So we have to go back down, maybe? I don't know. I'm just looking around here for now. Yeah, I think we have to use the elevator. Maybe not. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. Is this the president? In high heels? You must be Eddie and Hal. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please just call me Losamine. I am so glad that we got to meet. Cool hair. I'm glad there are people like you who traveled the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there's also the unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons, or even for profit, like Team Skull. And that is why I'm here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Lola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lizamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. Yeah, she looks pretty young. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? She looks good for 40. What? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know? And how your style is a bit wanting. Hmm. I'll have to take you out some time and help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. Usually everything up to me. Trust me, your children would all be much happier if they only listened to the adults around them. Uh oh, what's happening? The Aether Foundation is under attack! The tremor. Did something happen in the lower floors? Uh oh. Was there a Pokemon fight? What's that portal? Breaking through the side window. Oh my gosh, what's going on? You are? Have you come from a distant world? Vino Mino. Miss Lizamine, stand back. That thing is not right. You poor creature. She wants to help it. I've never seen a Pokemon like that. Be careful, Eddie. Vino Minon! Appeared. Aura flared to life. His defense rose sharply. Go, Fomantis! Oh, brother. We're in for a treat here. So 
Let's bring a Persian in against this thing. We can't catch it, of course. Can we try to catch it? I don't know. Bino Shock. Oh boy. Let's go right for our Z power here. Go Persian. Breakneck Blitz. Unleashed. <laughs> it looks so funny. It's like a stuffed Persian. Not much damage at all. Well. <clears throat> I'm not sure what kind of Pokemon this is. It's using like poison or whatever. And it's like flaming right now. Whew. Wow. This probably won't do much damage on it either. Rock Tomb. Speed fell, that's good. Fled. Right. We made it go. Like back off. And the portal's gone. The end of the fight creature disappeared. Hmm. So it's true. I still need the Pokemon. I need to get it back. Miss Lizamine, are you okay? She's fine. That Ultra Beast just now. Oh, look who it is. It came from the other end of the Ultra Wormhole. And is a being from another world. A world that you know as Ultra Space. Who the... Seriously, what's with the getup? These are my guests. The Ultra Recon Squad. They've been giving the Foundation advice about Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Dulce. I am Zasi. Ultra Beasts. Our world is a world without light. The light was stolen by a creature known to us as Necrozma. A creature almost like an Ultra Beast. And someday it will come to steal the light of the Lola as well. Like an eclipse that never passes. See this Necrozma is like unbelievably strong. It can wield light however it likes. And sure, it does run wild sometimes. But it also shares this mysterious light with others too. But everything will be fine. If this Necrozoma, or even an Ultra Beast like the one we just saw, should come to this world, from another, the Aether Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy. You will not need to worry about a thing. You're right. Either they're lying to us or they have no clue what they're doing. I would go with they have no clue what they're doing. Wicke. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please let them to the next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be that our experience to open up Ultra Wormhole are not going as well as we hoped. Hmm. Pretty scary. I'll see the two of you on Ula Ula Island, then. How's waving goodbye? Goodbye, Mr. President. Who's 40, but looks like she's 13. Uh. Never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. Never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the surprises just never stop coming. We gotta tell Professor Burnett about this next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. We happened. What happened here today was a surprise to us as well. But I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this, remember? Please take us to remember your visit. Some malasadas for Hao. A little gift for him. 
Yes, big malasada is awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with ones you love. And for you, Eddie, a TM for the move Psychic. Give it to Persian, maybe, or Annoying Bat. All right. TM's pocket. Hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Thank you, thank you. We will. Thanks, Miss Wiki. Take care, Miss Wiki. Ula Ula Island is upon us. Ho! Oh, my heart's still kind of racing, you know? He's kind of nervous still. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too. Yeah, but we even discover more things on the next island too. We're going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. He's hungry. Chomp, 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 chomp. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You want a malasada? No, thanks. Ah, oh, so good. Man, look at the foot room here in this ferry. Or this boat. Wow. Lucky guys. Aether Paradise. And here we go. On to the next island. Ula Ula Island is upon us. Very exciting. Hey, it's Peleppers. This is a pretty cool looking place. The polywag down there. Land ahoy! Alright, terra firma underfoot again. It's time to explore, guys. Ula Ula Island's like totally different place than Mele Mele Rock, huh? We're supposed to meet up with the professor. Where was it? Uh, Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to the garden? I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Here we go. We made it to Ula Ula Island now. That means another new island Pokedex for you, big boy. Fill her up. Right near the Pokemon Center. All right, cool. We're so close to it. Get the sticker. 11 stickers. All right. Hey, little guy. How are you? Looking around a little bit. Any tall grass we can hop into really quick? <laughs> I had a great idea, Eddie. Come on, let's have a battle. Sure. All right, let's go full powered on this one. Was I healed from the uh, Ultra Beast battle there? That ended halfway through. We're going to full battle here. Star Tricks. Let's see. We'll bring in our Incineroar. Maybe use uh, Flame Charge here. Pluck. That was critical. Darkest Lariat. I love this move. Hal always wants to battle and show his skill. <clears throat> Vaporeon. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Um, bring the Pelepper in.
I could bring in um, our Noibat as well. Oh, he's taking in a Rashu now. How dare you? No! Ouch. Good job. Oh my gosh. I'm going to heal up. Against this Rauchu. Rauchu. Took us all the way down. We fainted. Darn. Come on, Persian. All right, who's going to bring in now? Let's see. Tauros. All right, let's switch. Let's bring in I wish I had a Hariyama. I could revive him, but Intimidate. Hey, our attack fell. That's rude. Super potion. Another horn attack will be fine. We can handle that. All right, how? Who else are you gonna send out here? Let's see. Um, they're pouring in again. Uh, switch. You're way bad in here. All right, Vaporeon. Water Pulse is pretty strong on us, though. <clears throat> Bloom Doom. Can Bloom Doom do enough damage to take out the Vaporeon? With a Grassium Z, I believe. Do it! We're going to go out here. We have a Fomantis, too. That's right. almost forgot about the Fomantis we brought in for uh, Mime Jr., who is on our bench right now.
Oh, we're confused. Don't be confused. We're gonna heal because, uh... He's down almost all the way. Can we hold on? We'll be okay here. We have some HP left. Use Razor Leaf again against him. Oh, quick attack. Darn it. Ooh. The quick attack? Come on now. How dare you. Alright, who do you have left on your team, pal? We have two, he has one. I want to revive. Try not to revive. Noibad, okay. Uh, keep battling here. Could be a Noibat versus Noibat. Is ours, uh, we do, I think ours fainted, right? I don't even recall. We'll do feint attack on the Noibat here. Alright, we got him. Good battle, Hal. Nicely done. <clears throat> that was exciting. Hmm. He held his breath the whole battle. Me too. <sighs> You know what, Eddie? Take this Lycanium Z, too. It came as a set with those big Malasadas that Miss Wiki gave me, but I don't plan on adding any ly ly rock to my team or anything. Cool. You and your Pokemon look like you were having a blast, Eddie. I guess it's like my gramps said, go beyond winning and losing and learn to find joy in any battle, and you'll find that you're getting stronger before you even know it. Trill. What, you mad that I still don't seem to be getting all that much stronger? I sure hope not. Me and my partner ought to be, like, totally in sync with one another. We'll be there, or we'll get there, buddy. Now, I guess we should go try to track down Professor Koi Koi in Mally Garden, right? Yeah, we should. Let's go here first. Let me see those new moves we got, too. We got a new Z crystal. Um... Let's see. <clears throat> I got the psychic as well. <clears throat> Let's see. With this, all right. Let's see. Um, do that. All right. Awesome. Hey, wait, nobody we can actually use it for yet, so that's fine. Can I bring Mime Jr. back into our team? Take the Fomantis out. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Good. You have a ghastly too. I 
Looking at what we have going on here with Poliwag too, which is cool. All right. Let's change the normal AMZ out. Let's see here. Um, I guess we're fine. All right. Let's save a while. Cool. Let's move along, guys. Mime Jr. is back. For now. talk to her. There's Lily. Eddie's been a while since I last saw you around, but you weren't supposed to meet with Professor Mally Garden. We are. Here is Mally Garden. See a big, beautiful garden. Water, green grass. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mally Garden. I'll start my search for the bridge here. Uh, why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Cool. Are there any stickers on the bridge? I don't know. And a Pokemon? Yeah. Hey, it's Meowth. All right, Meowth. Take the wrath of Mime Jr. Ooh, four swipes. Wow, five! Five hits! We avoided it nice. Oh. I want to get my Jr. some action here. That's okay. Meowth will be hurt here again with those infestation. Still infested, I'm sure. Let's see. Is he still infested? He should be. Maybe not. All right, Meowth. More grass. Hey. Luxury ball. I'll take that. Thank you. This is a wild Lydian. Awesome. I never saw Lydian before. <clears throat> I only have four quick balls. I want to buy some more. Can we get him? Bam. Oh, no. Oh, man. How dare you? It's in a mystery veil of protection. Mug punch. We hit him five times.
cool. Anything else in here? It's a lot of Pokemon in here. It's a wild Araquanid. We fought you guys earlier. Can we catch you? Awesome. We had a tough battle against that totem Pokemon a few episodes back. But the Flyanium Z really helped out. Looking for the Dewpiter yet. Go to the box. That was exciting. Lots of tall grass. Exploring around. Ula Ula Island. And this is this awesome garden area. I love this area. Probably my favorite part of the um, game so far is the garden area. I like the way it looks. The bridge, the water, the grassy areas are pretty cool. We already have a cottony, I believe. No, we don't. Cotton's on fire! <laughs> the wild cottony is down. For the count. One, two, three! Ding, 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 ding. Game over, my friend. What in the world is the secret of the pond in this garden? What is the secret of the pond? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go fishing. There's a secret, apparently, in this garden. Like, what's the secret to it? I, I don't know. A goldine. Let's capture this thing. A goldine's on land. I want to use a dive ball. I'm going to use a quick ball too, I guess. Nice. We got a Goldeen on our team. Well, be put to the box. All right, registered. Thirty-three point one pound. That's a big old goldfish. <laughs> Man, you need a big aquarium for that thing. It's huge. Myth of Mystic Water will put it in the box as is. Awesome. That was exciting. Well, that's cool. Look at that. It's like... The water sure is clear here, huh? What if Pokemon are all hiding in the shadows of the rocks or something? Could be. I can't go past you, apparently. Okay. Just exploring around here on this garden area. They're going to battle us. Uh-oh. The Pokemon of one of our guests and my own Pokemon became friends, so we're taking a walk together. Alola, trainer. Alola, Pokemon. It's like a dual battle with them. <clears throat> We're challenged by a tourist couple, Landon and Eureka. They have two Pokemon. Bring it on! Bellhop Landon. <laughs> He's a bellhop! Ooh, look at this! Alright, they got a Vulpix. They got two Vulpixes here.
Let's see. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Vulpix are cute. Flame burst. Nothing. Can't do that to us. Are you crazy? It's down. The ball picks is down. It's down. Defeated tourist couple. Bellhop Landon. I love that. Selfie girl. I had 20 for winning. That's good. So I want to buy more potions. I love this area, though. Okay. Well, let's go up here. Are they meditating? Ho! Oh, Professor Quickie! Hey there! What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Only something amazing! Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. An ultra wormhole opened up, like, right in front of us, and there was a, a really art ultra beast in there, and aliens from other worlds, too. You gotta tell Professor Burnett, too. Woo, we got to see the ultra wormhole, and an ultra beast, and folks from another world? This is amazing! Oh, yeah! Sounds like an even better reason to train hard, yeah, or on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. Alright, your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus there to get there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with the Masada Shop. <laughs> get my Pokemon some treats so they'll really start to like me. Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop, buddy, whenever you're ready to go. There's a Pokeball there. Hey, Eddie, did you know? Of course. I haven't even finished a question yet. There's an observatory up there on Mount uh, Hokulani. And, you do, and do you know what it is they do at the observatory, right? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. Now I'm out. They observe. See you, my friend. Take care, Hal. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now. Take care. Good seeing you. Rage candy bar. All right. Let's go back down here really quick. I want to go heal up. I can't go that way. Get out of my way. <clears throat> right. Then we'll head over to uh, Route 10 here looking for the bus. Thanks for waiting. You're welcome. Come back anytime now. <clears throat> Lily, what's up? Oh, Eddie, I'm glad I ran into you. I was actually wondering. Pew! What do you think of her? The president of the Aether Foundation, I mean. I don't know. Right, of course. I just thought maybe you'd met her, uh, met with her. I'm sorry for asking you something so strange. Um, anyway, what I really wanted to ask us was about... Is about Nebi? Yes. I want to take Nebi to visit the Ula Ula ruins, but they're located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now I'm planning to visit the Mali Library. There's a book that I want to look up there. Uh, maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know that Mali Library is here within the city of Mali somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Pew! Poor Lily. She's not quite sure what to do with Nebby. But we're not going there. We're going over here. We gotta catch a bus. Sorry, Lily. We got a bus to catch. Route 10. Okay, we gotta go up here then. 
I should look at the map. Ooh, let's go fishing. Nothing. Lame. Win a battle? With you big... You got a big sun hat here. Just traveling. Sightseer Akali. Akali. Alkali. How about you? Um, let's see. I'll bring Pelepper in for some fun. Whew. Well then. We're paralyzed to be that way. Paralyzed. This guy's a little bit of a problem for us. Good job, Persian. All right. Power gem. Ooh, let's let's see here. It's a rock move. Awesome job, team. We defeated her. I disclosed everything, everything about my Pokemon. Good for you. I, sh I wanted to buy more potion stuff. I didn't do that. I need to do that. Go this bridge. More Pokemon here. Another wild lady in. Should we try catching it again? We missed it the first time. Use a quick ball on it. Please stay in there this time. I thought we had it and then no. Ooh, all right. I'm like, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you go through all those emotions like, uh, yes. Thrash. Let's see Thrash. Let's see. Yeah, we'll switch that for Fury Swipes. Thrash seems better. Not even the scratch that we had earlier. <clears throat> Alright, Letty and... Letty Ba. This is the other form. 78.5 pounds. Uh, nah. 
Get in the box. Your yeah, team could use a trip to, this, to the Pokemon Center here. We'll probably do that before next episode. Another Ledian, alright. Let's use our Incineroar's Wars new move. See what it's like. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Get this. Thunder Wave. Nice. Mime Jr. could uh, use that. Let's see. It's an electric type move. Alright, let's see here. Paralyzes the target. Churn. Let's see here. We can confuse them with that. Uh. Nice. Yeah, we'll probably should, we'll just go to the Pokemon Center, I guess, to do that. Be easier. Let's save here, guys. All right. Let's use our Charizard. Can we actually go to the Pokemon Center this way? Might be easier to. Yeah, we can do that. We're going to heal up, and we'll come back next episode, and we'll catch the bus in Route 10, going to our next destination. So we're in Mali City right now. We're going here. We're going to heal up. We'll buy some things as well, really quick. So we could use um, some more potions. Awesome. We're all set. Oh, let's see. What do you got? What do you got? for those hyper potions. See if he has any quick balls over here. He should. Nope. Oh wow, well, that's pretty cool. Shadow Claw. What kind of um, Pokeballs do they have over here? Ultra Balls. I'll buy four of those. And that is it. Okay, guys. We're going to save here. Like I said, we'll come back next episode. Head to Route 10. Find the bus. So make sure you guys do me a favor. And of course, as always, blast the like button for the episode. 
Comment below, subscribe, share the video with a friend, and again, thanks to Nintendo for providing me with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon to share with you guys. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Episode 11 in the books. Be back soon for episode 12. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody.